Hello YouTubers and welcome to Watches Galore. Hi, my name's Scott and today we're going to take a look at an old watch I got about 20 years ago. Hope it's interesting to you. I still wear it once in a while. An old quartz and we're going to take a look at it right after this. One day, Dan Brooks was walking down the street, minding his own business. What he didn't realize is that he was about to bump into a beautiful woman. The woman who would have his three children. The woman who would graduate law school and go on to become a successful politician. The woman who would change his life forever. But, rather than insisting on a Seiko, Dan settled for an ordinary watch. And unfortunately, Dan was running one second late. Seiko. Built for life. Okay, guys, I'm back. So here it is. This is an old Seiko. Yep. I got this from a company I worked for a while back. It was like 1997, I believe, I got this watch. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, still uh, good condition. Original... Seiko band, uh, the buckle, let me get this out of here, yeah, the buckle, I mean, really overall good shape, nice leather band, little gold, uh, little gold trim, 38 millimeter case, 40 with the crown, 18 millimeter lugs, lug width. I thought that was interesting. But yeah, it's got a um, 7N42 movement. The Seiko 7N42 movement. You know, I don't even know if they make that movement anymore. I'm sure they do, but... Uh, keeps great time. Quick wristwatch check. Orient Mako USA 2. So there you have it. You can see I, I set the Orient uh, Monday morning. Okay. So I think it's pretty, pretty darn close. I mean, this Seiko is right on the money. It's not mi missing a beat. Of course, Quartz, you know, hey, they're on it. But the, the Orient's... Uh, Keep in nice time. Pretty amazing. So yeah, 7N42 movement. Uh, it was manufactured in 1996. And um, it's water resistant. Which, I don't think I'd take this swimming in the pool. So yeah, 1997. Got this watch given to me. And if you see there... Um, let me, let me see if I can get this a little closer here. The WL right here. Warner Lambert. That stands for Warner Lambert. And that's a company... Uh, let me get this focused. That's a company that um, founded the Listerine mouthwash brand. Sorry about that. So they, they have been around a, a while. They've been around a long time. And that was the watch they had given to us back then. So I thought that was kind of cool. I wanted to bring it to you. You know, I, I still wear it. I don't wear it often. But, uh, yeah, I like to sport it now and then. It's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little Seiko. Tell me what you think of it. Tell me what you think of this thing. It's a freebie. You could, you know, I think, 
I think you pick something like this up for like 50 bucks. Uh, well, I don't know if you could pick it up for 50 bucks today. But uh, I think back then it was like, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm not even sure. Anyway, it's a cool watch. Um, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to talk about my Speedy. So I've showed it to you, uh, you know, I've showed it to you on my wrist. I've talked about the bands I put on it. And I've had this watch a while now, and I, I just really never talked about it. Um, I love it. It's a great watch. Um, if you believe we landed on the moon, this might have some significance to you. Uh, if you think we never made it to the moon, you might not even care about this watch. I don't know. But this guy, not this particular guy, which is uh, the 1861 movement. And, and I do really like that movement. Um, there's an earlier version that made another tr historical trip. And uh, I'm looking forward to telling you about that. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Um, I'll be back. Stay well.